my mom is a therapist and owns a building that is completely empty from uh, from COVID. They're all switched to teletherapy, and I'm using it as my dance studio right now, so I don't bug anybody. All right, so welcome. Oh, grab my music. Uh, so this is going to be the last day of today's, uh, or of this week's kind of um, uh, theme. So we'll finish up this choreography, which I will be honest is still boggling me that uh, flat footing bit. But if it's if it's feeling complicated and you want something simpler to work on, head to the Step Collective's Instagram page. Um, I'm doing like a mini step a day there, and I broke down the Tennessee walking step that we're kind of using here too. So if you want to take like three or five minutes just to try a new step, that's that's a good spot to go to. Um, if this is feeling confusing, um, and on Instagram, if you hit follow and hit some, there's like some extra bit you can add um, to, to get notifications when these videos get added. Um, but I'm doing them every day. So we'll finish this choreography this week. Next week is a whole new theme starting Monday, and I'm happy to say we've got our streaming all sorted. Thank the Lord. Um, and we have a special guest on Friday. We're going to have some really fabulous percussionists from possibly other genres joining us uh, to teach Friday class. And I'm still figuring out, that has to be done via Zoom, and I'm figuring out if I can stream it live on YouTube still, or if I have to send you all to Zoom. But we'll make sure you get it. If you're on the uh, Step, Clutter, Step Collective newsletter, you'll get it. So let's do our little just full body warm up. So um, shoulders forward, shoulders back, shoulders around, front to back, hands on your shoulders, reaching up, reaching arms back. And then actually, no, you know what? Let's start back front today forward, back, bending, straightening, bending, straightening, rolling up, front, back, around, back, and then reaching back, and we'll give a little pulse once we get back there. And remembering when you reach and arch, squeezing those muscles to protect your uh, low back. Hello, I'm Van Coop, that's the enemy. Colin Farrell again. Thanks, Colin, for such a great music. All right, so back to front first. Back. Front, around two, three, four, around two, three, four, punch your back, and now straighten everything, reach your head, and straighten, and bend, and roll it up, five, six, forward, forward, back, around two, three, four, hands on your shoulders, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four, squeeze those muscles, reaching your head up and out. And give your hands a little pulse. And same thing again. Back, front, around, two, three, four, around, two, three, four. Arching everything. And straightening, reaching your head out. And arching. And straightening. And arching. And rolling up. Okay, now let's lift. Right, left. Right, Left, right, left, right, left. Now lifting on the ground, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep your foot close to the ground when you lift it. Now kick, 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 kick. Now when you kick, can you turn your foot out and kick, 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 and kick. Okay, now let's, um, my knee is kind of hurting me today, so that's making me want to warm up a little extra. Let's go um, down two, three, four, and up two, three, four, releve two, three, four, and down. Same thing turned out, down two, three, four, and up two, three, releve two, three, four, and down. And now that we're turned out here, go ahead and reach to second position, and you're gonna reach your foot in and out and in. So knee in, knee out, knee in, and kind of draw a, uh, infinity sign on the ground as you do that. So bending in parallel first. Knee in, knee out, 
draw that symbol on the ground. Bending, other side, knee in, knee out, knee in, knee out, two more, knee out, knee in, knee out. Now, step, step, step with a pulse. Pulse your heel, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel. today. If you're just joining us, this is day five. We're going to finish up this theme this week and we'll start with a whole new theme next week and new guests on Friday. Um, if you're free Sunday evening at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time, um, the Mario's Tune Supply, www.tune.supply.com, we're going live with a bunch of really incredible artists. Uh, Liz Carroll, Nula Kennedy, Alistair uh, White, a bunch of folks. And I'm doing three little dance segments in there where I build on a new step. So if you want more dancing assembly with your mom or your kids, go there. Okay, um, so for this next one, we're going to play around with this step, which we've been working on all week. But we're going to leap. And we're going to do a few things. We're going to do, um, we're going to play around with all the different ways we can do this leap touch or brush. So um, not all of it is necessarily something you're going to want to do, but I want you to be able to do it if you if you want it. So step, we're going to start with just step, touching, leap, and we're going to touch right under our body. So I want you to kind of think of lining your toes up, okay? And then I'm going to bring us through a series of different moves uh, where we touch our toes, and I want you to just follow along with me. The same jig from Colin Farrell. This is day 122, Mary O'Sullivan's jig, Colin calls it. It's true, Mary O'Sullivan's. As he says himself. A friend of mine, we did a, an Irish music course, which he sadly passed. All right. Let's go with the right. Right, right, right. Right, right. Now getting ready to touch right underneath your body. Just gentle touch. Brushing. 
sorry, we're doing the brush and brush, lift, brush. So the brush doesn't happen because we're going like this. It happens because we're straightening our leg and it happens to be at an angle, right? If we straighten it here, we'd step. But when we straighten it here, it turns into this. So step, brush, step, brush, step, brush. Even brushes have this knee coming up first. So feeling like you're almost like a marionette moving from somebody up and down versus somebody pulling you strings back and forth. Okay, um, let's see. So uh, the step a day yesterday on Instagram was the Tennessee walking step, which we've been kind of skirting around getting to know uh, this week with our trugs in a highland. Um, one of the things that I find really interesting is the relationships between all these steps. Um, and highlands are a common Donegal dance type. Um, and I'll be teaching a highland on Sunday for the special Mother's Day thing at, at Tune Supply. Um, the high, highland garu, a couple dance. Um, but we are doing a kind of just yeah, a Donegal inspired move to go to our highland. And then we're moving over to flat footing, which is American. But that comes from largely from Scottish dancing. And the highland is really a Scottish. I mean, the northern people in Northern Ireland are possibly more related to the Scottish cultures. Nah, that cultures in between Northern Ireland and Scotland have possibly more relationship than Northern Ireland and Cork. Right, so there's all this related stuff. So we come over to flat footing, and even though it's got more Scottish influence, we can dance this step to a highland pretty easily. Um, but pure stuff is happening over on Instagram if you want to really get to notice the flat footing stuff. So um, we were doing these chugs, and we added the toes yesterday. Just when we were doing it slowly. So we were doing one, two, three. Four, one, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. So that was the first half of our of our chug bit. And we added the toes to those slow bits. So we did slow, slow, three, four, slow. Oh, see this is that's a hard transition. Slow, slow, three, four, da, da, slow, fast, slow. It's a really tricky transition. Let's try it again. Slow. Slow, 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 fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow. Two, three, four. I find it easier if we don't do that last toe. That's an easier transition for me. You're welcome to add that last toe if it's simple for you, but it's just not for me. So I'm <laughs> making my life harder. So we're going to go slow, two, three, last toe. Here we go. Now slow. Okay, and then we were doing slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, except that last slow we're adding a pickup beat on, so it's really just one of them. Slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, fast, 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 fast. Okay, so a whole bit of that is, we're going to add something new here in just a moment. The whole bit of that is one, two, three, four. One, two, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. Let's just try that to our Highland from Donnie Diamond, um, and then we'll see what we want to add from there. Okay, come on, phone, phones. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I went for a walk in Powderhorn Park this morning, and there are baby ducks and baby goslings, and it was the most wonderful little scene about 20 feet away from me. I'm just looking at the video on my phone. Um, you had a heron walking along the shoreline behind two geese, and there are six goslings and a couple of wood ducks hanging out. It's kind of fun. Okay, but here's Danny. Back to dance.
to at the end there, but I'm not. Okay, so let's do it again with our toes added. <laughs> Step, 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 heel, step, step, heel, step, da 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 da. Step, 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 da 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 da. So that whole pattern plus our our Tennessee walking bits. Here's Danny. is um, four moves. It's a step and a chug with a heel and a toe thrown in. We've added the toe already. The heel happens before the chug. So you're going to go step, heel, chug. So you're going to brush your heel, chug. Okay, step, heel, chug. Step, heel, chug. Step, heel, chug. Step, heel, chug. So, um, Rodney Sutton, who has been doing weekly classes on his uh, Zoom, um, is a master flat footer, and I really, really love the warm up he does. So, we're borrowing this from him. He, um, he even actually goes as far as clapping and stepping and all of that. We won't go that far today. Um, but we're just going to do the chugs, and then we're going to add the toes, which we already know, which come between the so step, chug, toe, step. So chug, toe, step. The toe comes be after the chug before the step. And then it's step, heel, chug. So the heel comes after the step, right? So um, we're going to just do, go back and forth with the chugging, adding the toes, chugging, adding the heels, and then putting it all together. A little more slowly than that, though. <laughs> Okay. Um, flat footing isn't my like home dance, and I'm still uh, I'm still working on feeling really comfortable with it. So um, dancing it that fast, I'm getting there. Um, dancing it slowly with you guys now is going to be really good practice for me. I had a moment when I this was years ago when I first was learning how to flat foot. This step actually, I was really struggling with it, and I was realized. It just wasn't quite working, and I realized even up, even when I had my feet flat on the ground, I wasn't low enough in my weight. It took me like really sinking into my body to get it. And there was a moment where I was being taught this step by a friend, 
And I was going, oh, this just isn't working. And she said, sink it low. And I start, and I'm, oh, there it is. So sink low when we're doing this, this move. Um, did I already tell you that this is related to the strap space step? Same exact thing, but on your toes, which is the Scottish or Cape Breton step. So um, here we go. So we'll go slow with Danny with the Highlands, and then when it gets to the real, we might go faster. Some chops. Step up with your first, feel the rhythm. Thank you. 
I know we have some percussionists and non-dancing percussionists with us. So let's think about the sound, um, which that's been a really beautiful thing for me, working with uh, drum players and percussionists and thinking about they really think in terms of tone. I really think in terms of body movement and uh, bringing those two paradigms together is going to be expansive. So, um, so just thinking about the sounds we're getting, we're getting deep brush, deep brush. Now I might think of this as a deep heavy note, but you also hear there's higher tones in that with my shoe. You might have something different happening if you're bare feet on a floor, maybe you're on a rug, whatever. Um, but you get to hear what each of your sounds are. Or I can add a little snap of my toe by lifting my toe a little bit up. And then we've got this other sound. And I can choose to make that peel scrapey, keep it on the ground longer, or I can choose to hit it a little more. Remember, we're not doing this as much as we're doing knee, okay? And then if we add our toe, we're getting three sounds there. So um, you're gonna be thinking about trying to get those sounds on the boron. Um, now, I will tell you this, that, that rhythm, um, if you're a percussionist in general, I wouldn't stay on that for too long. That's um, maybe a place to stay for like four or eight counts, but if you do that through a whole tune, it's kind of great on everybody. So, because um, it's just a little stagnant. So just keep that in mind. It's good for practice, but it's not necessarily great for performance for too long. Okay, so now let's hear those four sounds together and finish this up. So step, heel, out, brush, step. Heel out, brush, step, heel, brush, step, heel, out. We're going to slow it down a lot. If you have this step really well, this is a time to really think about the sounds you're making. If you don't, this is a time to get it. So, I'm fine tuning as I go here since I have the time now. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Right, right, left, whoops, left. Ah, right, right, left, left. Okay, now. Um, we're going to add this to our choreography, and this is going to finish out the week. I'm keeping it kind of short and sweet today because I have to actually go and record um, my my stuff for the performances this week and weekend. Okay, um, let's see. So we have our whole. We already know our steps. And then we add the beats, and then here's where we're adding. Our new bit in this choreography. So it's not getting any longer, it's just getting deeper. So instead of doing da, da, di, da, da, we're going to do the full Tennessee walking step there. By the way, this step uh, was coined the Tennessee walking step by the Greengrass Cloggers and Rodney Sutton, who I got this warm-up exercise from, is, was one of these folks who, who was kind of the, the first people to, to be in this clogging group, which was a pretty um, significant group in the history of clogging, and uh, they saw this man, Robert Dotson, in Tennessee doing this step, and they kind of took video of it and broke it down and figured out what he was doing, and then turned it into a step that they used, and they called it the Tennessee walking step because they got it in Tennessee, but it turns out Robert Dotson is not from Tennessee, and I can't remember where he's from, if he's from Virginia or somewhere, I have to figure, I have to remember that, but uh, it's actually not from Tennessee, so uh, Rodney is re-coining this step, the Robert Dotson walking step, because it is indeed his step. Uh, there's some video of Robert Dotson that I sent out in a newsletter recently. Maybe I'll do that again. Okay, so our choreography, second half, we're gonna go dum dee dee da 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 da. So you have one, two, two, three, four. And then we have slow, slow, fast, fast. Okay, so let's decide how to do this the best way. 
you know, I'm going to tie it to the music and just figure this out so that we're clear. with this step. Today is step of the day on Instagram and yesterday's step of the day. Focus on some ways of improvising with these four moves. Um, but you can play today, here, now. So we have slow, slow, dito, jato, dito, jato. The, yeah, and then moving on. Let's try that. Let's try that together. So it's slow, slow, dito, jato, that's our four slows. And then slow, da 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 da, slow, da 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 da. Let's just do that. You're 21. just the video of this choreography out to my newsletter this weekend. So if you're not on the mailing list um, and you want just the choreography to work with, it'll be there on sun by Sunday, I believe. But sign up today just in case if I send it tomorrow. Okay. Um, let's just try the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I got my dad. Given gleaned by these little tidbits from Danny. He, this is a Highland. He doesn't have the name for it. He got it from his dad. <laughs> I can't guarantee that I'll touch on them, but you're always welcome to try. Um, 
So I hope I'll see you again on Monday and uh, or see you at one of the live streams Sunday or Monday evening. Let's finish up this step and don't forget it'll be in your inbox by Sunday. Here we go. <laughs> I send out in the newsletter. So if you want to keep going with it, it'll be there. Okay. Thanks everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Um, keep washing your hands and I will see you Monday.